Today we're going to take you through the uh, preparation of uh, the ACL hamstring graft. So here we have, we have a semi tendinosus graft and it's measuring to about 28 centimeters from end to end. And we're going to show you initially the four strand technique. So George here, he's um, my assistant but he specializes in graft preparation and he's going to take you through how we prepare four, four strand uh, graft for a, a uh, all outside um, suspensory ACL ligament technique. Okay. okay, the first step you need to do is to uh, adjust your graft to the length of intra-articular graft that you're after. So usually the formula is the graft length will be four times plus one centimetre the length that you want. In this case we want a, a six to seven centimetre graft, so anywhere between a uh, 25 and 27 centimetres should be enough to give us that length. First step is you mount the graft in half. So we fold the graft in half and then there are various ways of, fix, uh, of fixing the graft in, in this per, uh, situation. We can do just a simple whip stitch of the lower end or in this case we're using a fibre loop. It's quicker and actually wraps the graft into a more cylindrical shape as opposed to a flat graft that your fibre loop does. First step the, the thickest portion of the, uh, uh, the fibre loop is fed through the needle so that the thinnest portions are at the head of the needle. You pass the graft over the top. You work out where you want the graft, uh, the, uh, the fibre loop to begin. And usually you, don't, you only need about three passes uh, to uh, get sufficient um, fixation. You pass the needle through so that you're getting both graphs intact. Pull the graph through until you have a, the graph locked. And then you're basically doing the same process over three to four times. Okay, and it just forms forms a nice uh, round bundle with the graphs locked together. What you end up with is a graph that's fixed at one end. Next part, you loop the graft into the into the other um, graft prep, and just set it roughly in the halfway mark. So now this will now make it into a four strand. The next step is to loosen off the graft and you fix the tail of the graft into the loop so that it comes right on the apex of the button. And then you fix that right up against the edge, making sure that the graft is tied firmly to the end of to the end of the uh, button. So that the graft is incorporated into the uh, the folded pieces, you pass one end through the gap and that allows the graft to sit flush against the uh, button. So these end sutures will also be tied into the button at the end of the, uh, of the graft being prepared. And that allows for additional traction and also a second point of fixation. The next step is to give a, uh, an initial sizing of the graft. And we use uh, various different sizing uh, uh, templates. And essentially we just pass that over the graft that's the femoral end, that's one without the tails, and that's the tibial end. And as we're passing it uh, up through the tibial end, then we need to make sure that the whole graft will be able to pass up the tibial end. And in this case, it's the tightest at the tibial end, so that will determine the size of our, of our tibial tunnel. And in this case, it's a seven. 
and then we'll try again to see if on the femoral end so the femoral end it will fit through a six and a half so I'll be able to tell the surgeon that the femoral end will be a six and a half and the tibial end will be a seven we can also just uh, check on the length of the graph that we have now and what it will be so in this case it's 6.8 centimeters the next step is to whip stitch or it is to uh, uh, fix both ends with a fiber wire suture okay, All right. okay so i want to have three centimeters clear in the center so i'm going to mark each end at one and a half centimeters and these are where I'm going to put my fixation sutures. This is probably the next most important part of the procedure is to tie the graph. The idea is that when you pass the suture, you want to uh, incorporate all, all the strands into your fixation. Simplest way is to begin in the centre, pass it through the conjoint graft, Pass it back on itself, through, once again, ensuring that you get the centre graft and you want to pass it through the outside graft. Next, firmly, you wrap all four strands with at least two passes. And then to finish off, you pass back through that graph and finish up in the space where you originally started. This allows you to tie a knot that will then feed down in between the graft and won't increase the size of the graft. And just to bring the knot through the graft, you pass it back down through the gap and through the other side pull tight and that brings the knot down into the body of the graft and then you simply cut that off. You proceed with the other side and you do exactly the same procedure on the other end. Here's the, here's the graft that has been prepared. So we are going to now insert it into the tibia and pull it through. gone through as you can see on your right hand side and we are now going to pull the graft in and you will see here we are it's flipped the button has now flipped and we are now going to pull the ultra button graft just by pulling the ultra button forward and you can see on your screen that the graft is going to be um, there you can see that the graft has gone through the hole in the tibia, through the joint, and now into the femur. So we are going to secure, you can look over there, we're going to secure this is the extendo button for the ultra button. So you put it through here because we need a bigger um, interference between the orifice and uh, the graft string. So you can see it sits beautifully within there. And then now we are going to feed the other two there. See, and George is just going to put his finger there, Oops. and I will pull. 
Put the pull and then it goes. Once again, same mechanism as the femoral end. The graft is now going to be tightened. And as you can see, here we are. We don't want to put the assistance finger through there. And you make sure there's no soft tissue in there. And you just tighten it as much as you can. We'll show you a good little picture of that now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sitting flush against the bone. Mm -hmm. And that acts as an anchor, external suspensory anchor for the graft at both ends. 